show. Now I'm going to introduce Prof. C.H.M. Kunaratna. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, let me introduce Prof. Kunaratna. Prof. Kunaratna is the Deputy Chairman and Chairperson of UGC on the University of Transportation of Sri Lanka. Prof. Kunaratna is a professor in finance. He has held several prominent positions in a number of premier national institutions dealing with education and higher education. Prior to assuming the charge of the uh, Office of Vice, Cha Vice Chairman UGC, Mr. Bhagavad Gita Sarudha is the Head Department of Commerce University of Colombo, Coordinator Postgraduate and Mid-Career uh, Development Unit of Faculty of Management and Finance University of Colombo, Team Faculty of Management and Finance University of Colombo, Member of the Governing Board, Body, uh, Board at the University of Colombo School of Computing, uh, Member of the Governing Council National Institute of Business Management, NIBM, Member of the Governing Council, uh, National Institute of Education, NIE, Board Member of National Human Resource uh, Development Council, Member of the Academic Affairs Board of, uh, School, Board of the School of Social Studies, Sri Lanka Institute of Development Administration of Frida. Now, Professor Devagatna holds a BSc in Social Administration in the University of Javadarapura, a Master's in Social Administration. MBA degree from University of Colombo, Sri Lanka. He is also a recipient of prestigious Japanese government Mount of Ushuo scholarship under the uh, and completed MSc in finance, both MSc in finance and PhD in finance at Tsukuba uh, University of Japan, Soviet Kuba in Japan. A recipient of Commonwealth Postdoctoral Fellowship. Uh, in the UK, Professor Gunnar uh, was a visiting fellow at the Institute of Development Finance in of Manchester. Uh, he's also the recipient of uh, fellowship in the uh, Japanese, uh, uh, Japanese Society for Promotion and of Science, ASPA, and uh, which he served as a visiting research fellow at Yokohama National University of Japan. So, a lot of credentials uh, uh, behind your profile. It's really an honor to have you. In fact, I have known you for a long time as uh, my colleague, uh, teacher at the University of uh, Kalambu, so I'm you program. So, today actually I wanted to uh, talk to you uh, particularly regarding the session we had for the forum called uh, South Asian Management Forum, which is uh, conducted by anyone in different countries in South Asia. We had it today in Kalambu on the theme of um, uh, management and sustainability in South Asian perspective. So you were invited to chair for one session. So I want to uh, give you an idea, ask you ideas and uh, yeah. thoughts about it. First, I would like to thank you for reading out uh, all my credentials. Right. And uh, first of all, uh, uh, on behalf of the UGC, I would like to express my heartiest congratulations for the event. Uh, very, very good that you organized it in Palambo. Uh, you know that Colombo as, as in Sri Lanka, with the changes taking place in the country, now this is an attraction in South Asia. So that's the time to organize in Sri Lanka right now. And also, the I am coming from a with a background of management. I, I was a, a lecturer or the educator, the management faculty. I am really happy to see the event having in Colombo. So uh, now, now in our our state uh, has emphasized the uh, regional uh, collaboration between uh, management and education. You have been in management in more than three three decades. Uh, yeah, I think so. Almost three decades. Exactly. So now I want your opinions about uh, what is the value for Sri Lanka to have that kind of management education network, and what we uh, get out of that, as well as what we offer as a country and as to uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. Let me just come to that point that uh, even in the this region, I think there are good practices, uh, even good education models that we can copy from other countries. Is uh, it's not management education is not completely is private property. Right. So that was in that point that we can learn from India. And Indian counterparts also can from learn from Sri Lanka. That kind of association is very much essential. And also that where the you know the help is needed, the education this kind of association that the help to you know upgrade the management education for the educators that was that skill set and I can we can do quite a lot with that kind of uh, you know, I think it's a great great idea. But I know I know you are very new to your new position yeah. uh, but I think you have been you know, involving in the policy making different levels. So I want to ask you maybe what are the plans to make Sri Lankan education, high education 
okay, better quality and also going beyond the Sri Lanka. Are there any special plans or ideas? In fact, uh, <coughs> the first month of uh, in my office as the vice chairman of the University Grants Commission, in fact, uh, we, the commission members, we have you know responsibilities towards different disciplines. In, I am in charge of uh, in charge of management education. There we have a kind of we call what you call standing committee. I am the chair of the standing committee of management, where all the deans of management faculties and the directors of uh, respective institutions sit together and make uh, important decisions. So that I can, I can communicate uh, about this association. I I am sure that some of these are already members of this, right? but uh, but uh, as a central body or the apex body of the higher education and and the man in charge of the management education the standing committee, I can take the idea forward and do something more. That's very really interesting. Thank you, Professor Sundarajan. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you for having for inviting me here.